Alrighty, I have everything mounted here. Uh, just a few things to finish up in this part. Uh, changed around, you remember how I showed you before that I changed stuff around. The master switches actually went through the wall. Fuse I got right over here. Uh, power distribution box leads into the batteries I got the shunt mounted directly to it and then comes around notice how I have the wires going back through the wall and then here on the bottom side you can see they come through the wall there I still got to finish up the solar stuff here uh, I haven't got to the solar side yet here on this back side, you can see how I've got my wires run back down into the shunt. We got another 50 amp box here. If somebody else wants to plug in, we got that set up here with this inverter. So I got to finish mounting. Uh, this piece here up get the cover put on get the solar stuff tied in And get the tie downs here for the batteries. I did the batteries like this. I ended up putting a wall back here and With that wall that kind of stops anything from coming back up into here uh, We got a vent that's all open on the top side up there and also drilled four holes here or not four two four inch holes here and put a kind of vent like this so it'll allow the cool air to kind of come down to circulate hot air will go out to the top so it'll have circulation as far as air okay we have six panels here they are the uh, Rec and Packs. They are 305 watts each. Um, 33 volts. Rated current. IMPP. 9.17. Short circuit current is 9.8 amps. So, maximum fuse size is 20 amps. Uh, so we got that we got all of that there I'm mounting four of the panels going to the inverter batteries the other two batteries are going to go over here to the coach batteries once I get the panels done then I got to run two sets of wires down the two panels goes to this side four panels go to the other side my goal is to run them all down the refrigerator vent come down through the floor down across the basement area and then i can get everything blended in here with no problem i'm putting two panels in front of that air, other air conditioner i'm going to put one here try to squeeze two here and squeeze the last one right there both air conditioners i'm installing soft starts but on their website they don't list this model number so i had to put a support ticket in with them to find out the model number because this is a lot different than other acs that i've dealt with this has got uh, three different capacitors in it generally you think it would be the same but i'd much rather make sure everything's good so I'm waiting to hear back from Soft Start with the wiring diagram on both of these AC units. I figure while I'm waiting for them, I'm going to get everything else here laid out. Uh, as you can tell, they already come through and they've resealed the whole roof. I had to go back and touch up a couple things. Planning on running all my solar wires directly in through the refrigerator vent. So... Hopefully, everything will go as planned. 
but nothing ever does but we're gonna give it a shot though I have all the panels on I have them two at the very front tied together in a series parallel then I have this panel and this one tied together so all four of them go down to the lithium batteries on that side this panel and this one are tied into the coach batteries for the 12 volt accessories and everything here on the coach we got roughly a thousand watts going into the lithium batteries and I believe it's like 450 going to the coach batteries now I gotta get in and wire that let me show you the mess I have this here is the coach batteries that I'm working with uh, they are 350 amp hour AGMs we have three of them in here so what I'm going to do is the way everything's wired right now all the draw is coming off of this one battery not this one or this one these are just basically feeding into there so we're not getting good use of the batteries I'm going to be moving the solar over this stuff here batteries are going to stay in the same location I'm just adding the terminal blocks and then I'm going to get them wired in so we're getting even draw across all the batteries uh, the hydraulic pump here extra long wire here for the hydraulic pump this is the engine batteries originally these batteries was over in here he moved them over in this compartment so I'm not really doing anything much here but here's where I'm completely changing everything so that's the kind of stuff like when you do solar you come in and you see something like this and you change stuff around stuff that needs to be taken care of to get the full potential out of the batteries that he has that's the best way to do it now that I'm here I'm going to take care of all of that he's going to have better use out of all of this he plans on going to Alaska so that's why he has these big heavy 350 amp hour batteries uh, we discussed about lithiums uh, the pros and cons about it when he's up in Alaska but that's you know if he changes it I'm gonna have everything wired right here so if he does put lithiums in all he's got to do is unhook the batteries put the other ones in all the wiring pretty much stays the same in there I've gotten all my solar wire run down through the refrigerator vent uh, have them come down it's all right here I do have to come in and put some sealer around that hole then the wires come down I had to drill in and come over here as you can see my solar wires come across here they go up into that wall They go back in behind, back behind here. They come around, they go back that way, out of the way of the tires. Back into the frame and everything, and then these here come out here. And talking about just getting just enough wire of positive wire for the, the charge controllers just barely enough I mean just barely enough so I'm gonna get into fixing this here wish me luck I've got uh, all the batteries tied into the bus bars I got this solar in with the breakers and everything I have the hydraulic pump run over to the house batteries here they actually work better off of these batteries here than they do on the starting batteries they work a lot better 
everything's on there heat shrink i use some of his old cables only had to make one cable really and that was this one right here but each battery is 350 amp hours so that's seven eight nine thousand and fifty amp hours just on the house batteries themselves now he's planning on going to alaska so therefore that's why we have that many batteries right there to run for the heat uh have the solar all completed on everything so let me show you the finished up bit i have everything fastened down now like i said the two silver things are fresh air vents coming from the other side batteries are fastened down breakers for the solar master shut off the multi plus 2 12 3120 volt 400 amp fuse going into a power distribution box from energy battery cables tied up into that with a shunt also i added two soft starts to the roof ac believe it or not this will run both air conditioners at the same time we tested it but don't run it like that it'll run one ac with no problem uh it gets roughly two and a half hours run time with the 412 amp hours that he has in there now he is going to be upgrading later on adding two more of the sok batteries so he'll have 824 amp hours in uh we have uh, all the solar completed and everything this one's done he's happy one thing we are both kind of disappointed with with the system is not on our end it's actually the bluetooth on all the equipment with this having a uh very well insulated floor with metal on top and everything it's quite uh, thick of a floor it's about three and a half four inches thick on the floor with styrofoam plywood metal everything bluetooth signal inside is not that great especially on the shunt the shunt you all you know you have to be out here pretty much with a shunt it's just not real not real strong at all but we got everything done plenty of power coming in i went through with him and with the whole system and everything showed him how everything worked uh answered all of his questions that he had and as usual he'll have my number if he has any other questions he can call me he is happy he can run stuff inside not even being plugged in got everything set up questions or comments please like and subscribe give me that thumbs up i will see you all in the next video